you see them kings on the block. Bringing out the word in every spot. Bringing out the word in every spot. Yeah. You see them kings on the block now. Nah. Block now. Nah. Bringing out the word in every spot now. Nah. Spot now. Nah. Sixteen, eleven, it's a clock now. Nah. Clock now. Nah. Yeah. All around the world got it locked down. Yeah. You yeah. see them kings on the block now. Nah. Block now. Nah. Bringing out the word in every spot now. Nah. Spot now. Nah. Sixteen, eleven, it's a clock now. Nah. Clock now. Nah. All around the world got it locked down. Yeah. Yeah. You see them prophets on them corners. On them corners. Sixteen, eleven, got them on us. What's your nationality, fam? My nationality is Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican? Is that something that your your, your parents were brought up on, like in pagan beliefs and things like that? No, my family is uh, Pentecostal Christian. I'm the only one who. So we're, we're out here teaching what your biblical nationality is. Do you know what your biblical nationality? Because you know God made all the nations right before us, right? So what would be your biblical nationality? Because you know Puerto Rican, Puerto Rico was named by the Spanish. That's history, right? You understand mm -hmm. that, right? So what were they called before they were um before the the, the, the Spanish colonizing? Can right. I teach you that? Can I show you that? Sure. Right? Because Puerto Rico means port of riches, right? They were called Israelites from the tribe of Ephraim. Right? And the reason why they were in that on that island, because how did they even get to that island? It's in the scripture. It's in, it's, this Bible is not like some religious quote unquote book. It's, it's your book of the history of the children of Israel and what they went through and what they're going through right now. Right? So let me get Colossians 2 and 8 real It's the book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware lest any man spoil you uh -huh. through philosophy and vain deceit. Right? So we ain't out here to um, have nobody spoil you through philosophy or vain deceit. We're giving you the words of God, right? So I'm going to prove to you that you're an Israelite according to the Bible, right? So let me get um, Deuteronomy 28. Right? So even if you believe in this other God, right? These accounts in the scriptures, they actually happen, right? Um, let me get on um, that in Psalms. Uh, all the other guys are idols. Uh, Psalms 90, 96, 95, come on. Psalms 95. 96 and 5, come on. Let me get that real quick. First one is 86. Oh, hold on one second. Let, let us finish this conversation. Yeah, yeah, you, you, come on. So go ahead, read that. This is the book that you want, 2815. Actually, let me get this on 90, Psalms 96 real quick. Come on, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 5. Uh-huh. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Right, so we know all the gods of these other nations are idols. Like, the different gods that you're believing in, where did those gods come from? How did they come about? Did they come about from an idea from a man? No, I'm asking you, though. Like, what gods, what gods are you speaking of when you say you believe in multiple gods? Uh, from every religion throughout the mythology. So you just take from whatever one sounds good to you? Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, and verse 12. Mm -hmm. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, mm -hmm. and the invention of them, the corruption of life. Right? So this thing can corrupt your life, man. When you when you go going into all these different gods, it can corrupt your life, family. All the all the um tribulation you may be going through, that's because the most high may be putting you through that because you're believing into in, into these different gods and you just take it from whatever just sounds good. Right? But remember though, you're God's chosen people, man. Like the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are the children of Israel. Right? So you have a you have a duty that's required of you. Let me get that in Deuteronomy 7. Actually, you get that, let me get Deuteronomy 28. Let me prove it to you first. Because I'm not gonna just I'm not like a pastor or something, I'm just gonna speak my own mind. Everything I say to you, I'm gonna prove it. We're gonna go into history, archaeology, all these different things to prove that the people of Puerto Rico, the Taino Indians, are the true biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Right, so go ahead, read this. the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 28, and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, so do you know the story of Moses? Moses came and he, um, you know, Moses came and he grabbed the children of Israel from out of slavery under peril, right? You know that, right? So right now, Moses is speaking to your ancestors. And he's saying this right here. If you don't believe on my word and if you don't apply my word, he's not speaking to no other nation but the black, Spanish, and Native Americans today. Because even black, black is just a color. This this is black. We're all different shades of brown, right? So read that again. So, but it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it's going to come to pass if you don't listen, right? To observe, mm -hmm. to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so do you believe that the state that the Puerto Ricans are in, or the Taino Indian, the indigenous, do you feel like they're going through a blessed state right now? 
now, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. So let, let me go to, go to um, verse 68 real fast. Let's get straight to the point. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Hey, family, what's going on? Y'all believe in the Bible? Give me, give me five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, please. We're looking for something, I'm sorry. All right, look at this real quick. Look in the scriptures. All right, so go ahead, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right, how did your people get from Puerto Rico to Puerto Rico? How did your people, with ships? That was written. This is written 4,000, over 4,000 some years ago. Yeah, get him involved too, because he didn't know All right, what, what's your nationality, King? Jamaican. You Jamaican? Yeah. Right, so what were the Jamaicans called before? Because, you know, the term... No, no, leave. One second, one second, one second. I know I know. it seems like, oh, they're they just speaking that Bible. No, it's just stuff. like I'm trying to get back to work. I, I feel you. I feel you. When you have to be back? Uh, literally in the next five minutes. All right, give me five minutes. All right, so you said you're people Jamaican? Yeah. Jamaica means land of wood and water. Is that what your people actually are, a land of wood and water? Because the people that came and colonized that place called it Jamaica. Right, what were y'all called before that? Well, I know my people go back to Nigeria. Uh huh. So, so what were they? What were your people called in Nigeria? All right. So let's go into that right now. Go ahead. Read that. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. You'll never see your homeland again, right? Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold. And when you get there, you shall be sold. Who were, who were the Puerto Ricans? When it, when who who colonized the Puerto Ricans? Uh, Come on, that's not hard. What language do you speak? All right then. So who 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 is the who is the people that gave you that language? My grandparents. No no no. Who was who was the people that your ancestors got that language from? Because they oh, were not speaking Spanish. Spanish. What were they speaking? Who who, were, who? the Spaniards? This is, this, I know you got five minutes, right? And who who who, who colonized your people? British. Who brought your people in the um in the slavery on slave ships? You said the who? British. The British. That's right. All praises. So the Lord spoke this a long time. We'll read it from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into uh, Egypt again. Right, this is a curse that our people went through, right? With ships. With ships, right? By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, mm -hmm. thou shalt see it no more again. Mm -hmm. And there you shall be sold. And when you, when you get there, you'll be sold, right? Unto your enemies. Unto your enemies, right, read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond, bond women, women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. No man's going to redeem you out of Puerto Rico, the place that you call your homeland. Right? No man's going to do this. Not Mar uh, Marcus Garvey, not uh, Malcolm X, not none of them except for Christ when he comes back. But the thing is, there's a requirement of you before before these things happen. Because two thirds of our people are gonna be destroyed, man. Right, and I don't want that to happen to you, right? This place is gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, right? They don't talk about that in church, right? They don't talk about nukes hitting this place and destroying this whole place, right? But the only way you're gonna get out of that is keeping the commandments, it's that simple. That's right, what prophecy is God? This is God. Yeah, what, what, what prophecies does your God go into? And it came to pass. Prophecy, for the most part, is when it comes to the ending times. I haven't followed for all of them. Okay, so which one do you know? Yeah. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. It's all good. Which one do you know? Yeah. The one that I know is the North Sea Prophecy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mythology one. I know it by heart. Uh, Ragnarok. Oh, where'd they get that from? Where did Ragnarok come from? I, I, I know, I know that story. That's one of the gods. Right? But where did Ragnarok come from? You said it came from where? The Bible. All right, then. So they got that idea from the Bible, that idea of Ragnarok, right? The Armageddon, right? They got that from the Bible. All these other religions, they take from the Bible what they can. Even the Muslims and Islam, they take from the scriptures and make their own things for their people to believe in, right? So what, what is the Norse mythology? What people believe in that? Uh, where does it come from? Is it, is it, the, is it the Irish? Irish? Or? No, it was uh, Celtic. Celtic, the Norwegians, right? All right, so are you Norwegian? No. So why are you following after the ways of the Norwegians? Uh, it's mostly because I'm trying to be open-minded when it comes to different cultures. Okay, so you're open-minded to, you're open to learning all about the different cultures. But what about your culture? Mm. I don't know much about mine. I've been so trying why, to study why, why, can't, why can't you, man? Why are you learning about what everybody else is doing except for what your people got going on? What your what your culture, what your background, your heritage? Why 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 is that? Why is that such a taboo thing to understand? No, it's not taboo. It's just I haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, okay. Do you know that they found eight hundred over eight hundred different Paleo Hebrew artifacts in the mountains of Puerto Rico? How did Hebrew get in the mountains of Puerto Rico? Actually, I did not know that. I can show you the proof on that. Right? 
it, it's very important, brother, that you actually go into this and read, man. Because I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want the Most High to hurt you, man. Everything happens for a reason. We didn't stop here today and say we're gonna meet somebody that believe in all these different gods from Dennis and Parker, right? So just take the time and actually learn for yourself, all right, King? Here, let me give you this flyer. Okay, come. Yo, you got the flyer. Hey, if you have any questions, man, just hit us up, man. And on the back, it has a QR code with our videos. You can really go into this thing, man. This is your heritage. This is life, man. Right? All right. What's going on, brother? Sorry about that. What's going on? What, what's your name, family? Uh, Nathaniel Allen, good to meet you, King. Right, so you heard we were speaking with the brother. We was telling him about us being in slavery on slave ships, right? Yeah. That's written up in the Bible. You heard that scripture just now, right? Yeah, I heard. So what I'm here to tell you is before they was um, called Jamaicans, they were called Israelites from the tribe of Benjamin. Right? So that, that's your biblical nationality because everybody has a biblical nationality. Right? Huh? Sister, you say your, your shirt say Israel on it. They don't want to listen, but what I'm trying to tell, what I was trying to tell the brother is, is it very important that you keep the commandments, man. Because, actually, let me get that. First John 5 and 3 real quick. So how do you show God that you love him? You believe in God, though, right? You believe in the God in the Bible, right? How do you show him that you love him? Right? So, how would you feel if, do you have a, um, a, a woman in your life, like a lady or anything? Right? How would you feel if your woman told you, I don't know how to, how to love you? Did you feel some type of way about that? Yeah. Right, you would want her to learn, right? Yeah. Right, so we're going to show you right now. Go ahead, read. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh-huh. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God, right? This is how you love God. Because love is an action word. Huh? That we keep his commandments. Right, so the, how do you love God? Keep his commandments. That's right. It's easy. A plus B equals C. All right? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Okay. Uh. See them kings on the block. I know you see them kings on the block. Bringing out the word in every spot. Bringing out the word in every spot. Yeah. You see them kings on the block now. Nah. Block now. Nah. Bringing out the word in every spot now. Nah. Every spot now. Nah. Sixteen, eleven. It's a Glock now. Nah. Glock now. Nah. All around the world got it locked down. Lock yeah. You see them kings on the block now. Nah. Block now. Nah. Bringing out the word in every spot now. Every spot now. Sixteen, eleven. It's a Glock now. Nah. Glock now. Nah. All around the world got it locked down. Lock yeah. You see them prophets on the corners. On the corners. Sixteen, eleven. Got them on us.